What could you possibly make with a copper pipe and a Dremel with a cutting wheel? I'll show you. Today, I'll be making a DIY motorized camera slider that you can make at home with probably what you already have. For just a few bucks, you'll be making dynamic videos in no time. I'm Char, also known as the Wooden Maven. Welcome to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe for more woodworking videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm using the micro Dremel with the one and a half inch easy lock Dremel cutting wheel for this particular project. And it's really easy to put on as long as you have the mandrel. Now that I've got my piece marked off, I'm going to use my metal one and a half inch cutting wheel to start hammering through this copper pipe. I'm going to start at 15, and I may have to raise it a little bit if I see that it's not cutting through or not, but once you start cutting, you get the feel of it. The most important thing that you want to do is make sure that your piece is hampered down very tightly to your workbench or your table or wherever you're going to be cutting, especially when we're cutting something round that can move around a lot. So I'm going to clap mine down to my workbench here. Let's get this baby made. This video was sponsored by the Home Depot and they also provided me with the metal cutting kit that you're seeing in this video. I used my laser cutter to cut pieces to form the base of the camera slider and pieces to hold it together. Fun fact, when you're cutting acrylic, be sure to start off with a smaller drill bit first. To clean the copper pipes, I used a mixture of lemon juice and cream of tartar. Should I eat it? No. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna eat it. I then gave them a rinse with some soapy water. And voila, clean, shiny copper pipes. Since this video is about the Dremel and cutting copper pipes, we'll save the details of using microcontrollers for another day. As an alternative, you can still move the platform with your hand and get the same effect. I'm using rubber pulleys to serve as my wheels to slide the platform across the copper pipes. Again, small drill bit. And then I'm also using some machine screws and acorn nuts to attach everything together. I'm using a few washers to serve as a buffer so that the pulley isn't so tight up against the platform. And then I'm using some aluminum timing pulleys and gluing those on the bottom with a little CA glue and the timing belt actually will run through the pulleys. And that's what's gonna make this whole thing go. Now to assemble everything together. I'm using the pieces that I cut out on the laser cutter to hold the copper pipes in place and I made a few feet just to make sure things don't wiggle around too much. And here I'm placing the stepper motor on, my platform, and just another small piece that I cut that'll hold the end of the timing belt. Success! It worked, but let me assure you that this took several attempts before I got it to work. And I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you want to see more cool woodworking and other